Hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 15. Hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful today. I'll tell you, we got one of our typical West Coast storms raging out there. So uh, if the video goes dead, well, actually, no, that won't work because I would just wouldn't post it, would I? But yeah, hopefully, uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to be interrupted by something as foolish as, um, you know, all the hydro poles falling over in town. Yeah, it's that nasty out there. So I'm sort of, uh, ooh, <laughs> filling up. I figured out you could, uh, quite by accident, in fact, I came to make some mixed, uh, mixed rations to top up the, uh, the critters down the hill, and I drove across one of the triggers, and it, uh, accidentally filled me up with grass after I'd already got some silage. Now, luckily enough, and oddly enough, that counted as mixed rations. So I suppose it worked all right, but, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, uh, no lot is coming. Good. Because I do believe this plain old silage is the very last thing. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Urgh. Let's come over here. Let's lower that down. Knock it off. Every time I get into the sunlight, I just go blind here. So Sorry to have to take a break here, folks, but I can't see a darn thing out the tractor windows, and that's just going to mean my driving is worse than normal. And it's barely tolerable now. So, got to give you a good cleaning up. Of course, we also figured that out too, eh? We gotta start washing gear that we rent. Because <laughs> they charge a fair chunk of money to do this. I mean, way more than it costs us. Come on. Make nice. I still see some dirt right behind the hook there. Get on it. There we go. That's better. How are you looking? Not close enough. It's a tractor. It's not a... A Lamborghini. Oh, that's a tractor too. Uh, Porsche? Yeah, that's it. All right, now that we're all nice and shiny, let's go drive our tractor through that check-in poop. Yes, indeed. Um, the issue is fixed, of course, with the uh, map door trigger. I have replaced it with a brand new fresh copy. Again, I bow humbly before all of you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. And say thank you so much for going well no matter how many times you tell us it's there you're wrong you need to have that so <laughs> okay now i have i believe let's have a look fattened chickens yes indeed they have well they may not have much of a lot of stuff but apparently they got enough um productivity just hasn't registered yet of course so it says silage i've managed to find a place for everything else so according to this, all we gotta do is take good old Emily in here and give her a little shake and a stir, and we should be good. Alright. Open sesame. Or open sesame if you prefer, you know. Oh, give me a tip. That's what I'm looking for. And cue it up. Silage is not accepted here. Cue it up. Not accepted here. Not accepted here. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now I'll just keep tapping the Q button. Up. Oh. Right up to the point where it makes us drop it on the ground. All right, oops, now I'm getting stuck here. Let's back into the center. All right, so we can pretty much count on the fact that that's going to get us nowhere. Whoa, get out. There you are. Um, hmm. Now, this one took grain. But it will not take silage either. Alright. So. Let's, uh. Hmm. Yeah, obviously that's not going to work. That's strictly, uh. 
Unless we're picking up a de poopin. Let's just see if uh, this is maybe some sort of one-sided trigger for this thing or something. I don't think so, but we will find out here momentarily. No, they're just simply not accepting it. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay, now I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, Hey, that actually let me get unhooked, did it? <laughs> I'm so stuck, man. Come on, let me out. Silage is still not accepted here. <laughs> Really screwed here. Oh. Woohoo! I got him. Huh. Well, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. What the heck is that? We don't seem to be able to add silage, although it does tell us in our informational window that we're supposed to. So, oops, I think I want to go back out this way so we can close it to the door. Hmm. Oh well, if anyone knows, feel free to uh, set me straight, because this one I have no idea. And no, it's not just a matter of I don't have a certain file, <laughs> I'm sure. Because everything else we've been able to dump here. So, hmm. And, hmm, again. <laughs> yes, I did that. You guys saw it. Alright, well, hmm. We might as well just, uh, poodle this in here. Well, this is a much better place if you're going to use this device. Yeah, I advise that you, uh, do, in fact, pick your stuff up here. Then you don't have to worry about all those confusing conveyors and such. Do, 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 do. Ah, the silage meat bucket. There we go. Alright. Our next little project. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm either a lot shorter or those bushes are a lot taller than I thought. Yes. Get up here, make sure everything's all tickety-boo, hire a worker, and get the heck out of the way. There we go. <laughs> yeah, now you can see why I was such a hurry to get out of the way. And you, sir. Ooh, Ellie. Oh, what are you doing? Let me in there. Oh, really? You're going to do that, are you? All right. So we have the bigger cultivator. I used the uh, the Sammy tractor. It's a little underpowered. They recommend just over 200 horse, and it's about 170. But uh, it did manage to drag it up and down the field. I don't know that we want to do it that often. I've actually got uh, a couple of mods I'm looking at because what we haven't had, I don't think yet, in the entire Farm Sim 15 season is a decent Johnny Deere. And these are done by a Lale. And uh, he did really good models for FS13. And at 96k, you know, they're decent little tractors. The 7930 is 270 horse. And then we've got a 6210R that's uh, 210 horse. They both got front hitch, which is really nice. So, uh, but yeah, 96k, we're 20k short. One good, uh, great demand or something would uh, pretty much put us into one of those guys. In fact, we could probably sell off something like the crystal here. Although I do like this whole tractor. 
I do, I do. She's a neat thing. Zetor Cristo. Whoop. What? Oh, we're done, are we? Alrighty. Wee. Oh, I don't know why you didn't want to do that last little bit, but so it goes. I'm amazed at the, uh, how well that Marshall, uh, poop sprayer does. You don't tend to, uh, run out after a quarter of a strip. So, I mean, mind you, it's a fairly narrow band. Maybe that's what it is. When you use the in-game ones that are doing 20 meters or whatever, I guess if you're going to fling a strip of poop 20 meters wide, you're going to use a fairly hefty chunk. Pardon the expression. All right, now, next up, these sugar beets have got to come down. That's going to be a rental thing, of course. So we will get to that. But other than that, all of our animals are absolutely and completely taken care of at this point. They are in full production mode. Oh, you'll also notice if you look up the clock there, I added that mode that was on the map we looked at the other day. Or that mod, I should say. I really like that. So as you can see, it is day 9, a Tuesday here on the farm. And it is 9.41 a.m. Whereas real time is 14.50. Now... If you guys think the mod's interesting, I kind of like it, I want to see. So far it seems to be behaving well. But I think that, yeah, it's kind of a neat principle, you know. Uh, let's fill this up. Sorry. And then we'll tip it down. I think that's kind of a neat little idea. So you actually know how long your farm's functioning. So, yeah. But uh, that's available over on Maru's site. So, uh, again, it will take you to an uploaded, but it's a tiny file, luckily. So, uh, even from uploaded, as long as you get a uh, clean go at it and don't get sucked into one of the really horrible malware biddies, it won't take you too long to download in a matter of moments. So, yeah, it's only two and a half megs or something. So, even at 50 or 75k, you uh, won't take that bad. And yes, I'm washing all my tractors. Isn't that just like, ah, oh, god dang it. But yeah, I'm tired of not being able to see out the windows. I didn't spend a life savings on these new glasses to not be able to see through things. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. So, yeah, as I say, we do need... Uh... Where's my big tractor? Hello? No, you're not the big tractor. Oh, you're actually out, aren't you? Okay. Of course, being a hired worker, they carry bags of this in their pocket, and we just have to pay for it as they use it. Um. <laughs> oh, there you are, man. Yeah, I thought you were, like, way off at the shop or something. All right. What I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to call the episode here, and I'm going to take this guy up we, to the shop <laughs> and uh, grab what we need for the... Uh, sugar beet harvest because I do think that's the next thing on the agenda is to get those done and uh, again as far as the Johnny Deer tractors go once I actually purchase one and put it on the farm I'll give you a link in the meantime, if you want them for yourself, check out Mod Hover, check out Mod Hoster, I'm sure you'll find them. Alright, there we go. Let's lower you down. Let's drop you off. We're also going to drop the weight off. Because... You're going to need both ends for this job, pal. Alright. Alright, guys. I am, uh... Oh... <laughs> I'm off to the shop. We'll see you guys later. I suppose it would help if I went the right way. That yeah, would be this way. Yeah, I just washed my tractor. Now I can't do a thing with it. All right. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. Feel free to share, favorite, and do all that YouTubey stuff. But until next time, and of course, most importantly of all, take care of each other, folks. This has been Species Seven back on the Susnoka Farm for Farm Sim 15 Gold. Ciao for now. Have a lot of day. Dude.